This was a panel that was uh, supposed to be moderated by uh, Sonia Reyes Snyder. Um, she's not able to be here today, so the students are just going to introduce themselves and talk about their uh, their experiences. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm Alex, and we spent the summer with Sonia Reyes Snyder at uh, Des Moines with the Capitol, um, with the Office of Latino Affairs. And uh, if you want to talk about what we did. Yeah, so um, first what we did, we um, interviewed many different um, business owners, Latino business owners in Iowa. Um, we found a bunch of different questions to ask them um, about like their experience, specifically in Iowa, starting a business as a Latino. Um, and. Honestly, Anna and I would always go in with the set list of questions, but as they would tell their stories, we would um, just have more and more. So it, those interviews lasted over an hour each. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we you know we'd come with this question like, "Oh, how'd you get interested in business?" or "What do you think success means to you?" And these people would talk about their families and their immigration story and their history and. I don't know, their passion, and it would just become something so much bigger. And, you know, I feel like for us it was kind of intimidating because we're put in this position um, to tell these stories and to somehow write a synopsis, a profile of their lives, and it almost became like impossible because we're like, how do we encapsulate this complex human being that's in front of me? Um, but it was just a really good experience and um, just a, such a different group of people that we were able to talk to. Um, I don't know if we wanted to like talk about specific people that we got to know. Um, like, I don't know, uh, I don't know if all of you know who Jose Zacarias is, but he's in West Liberty, he's a community leader. And he was, he was a funny guy because, you know, he came in wanting to talk about how he's a property owner in his community, and he just ended up talking about politics the entire time, and it was wonderful, and we weren't sure if we could use any of that content, <laughs> um, because we're trying to be nonpartisan. Um, but it's just like, you know, we're here, and we're able to give them kind of this platform to talk and share what they want to share with everybody and what they want to share with children specifically. Um, yeah, that was one person that we got to talk to. And he was really cool, too, because um, he was actually the first um, Latino elected official in Iowa. He was on the, um, the council board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, and so everyone that we did interview had such a huge um, sense of community and um, giving back, even though they each had very different lives, different experiences, different businesses. Um, we did restaurants, um, we had like one taco truck, but we also had like a tire company, there was... Um, An IT. IT. Um, uh, um, rum Cokey, which is like oh, a yeah. rum company. <laughs> yeah, so there's Rum Cokey, that was a really interesting one. Um, we didn't get to taste it. <laughs> <laughs> Augie, um, uh, what was Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Yeah. He owns um, Run Koki. He started this business. He's from Puerto Rico. Um, he's super in touch with his um, Puerto Rican roots, but he knows that, or he said that he wouldn't have started a business anywhere um, but Iowa because it was just um, the people that he surrounded himself with in the community had um, really helped him start his business and start his own business multiple businesses actually, but now it's solely focused on Rum Koki and um, we encourage you to try it too. So it's a yeah. Puerto Rican, Iowan rum. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think one of the most surprising things for me, I actually like a little bit of background for me. My mom is from the Dominican Republic um, and she's an American now. And my dad, he is also Mexican and American. And I was actually raised in a very small, maybe 700 people, small Iowa community. And so I never really connected with my, La my Latino roots. I, I really considered myself as white and my parents as something else. And um, when I came to Iowa, uh, coming back to Iowa, because we moved to Illinois briefly, and when, when I came to Iowa State, 
Um, having this USLS program kind of gave me a little bit more insight on this Latino community and just having this opportunity for this internship to reach out to that community and I don't know how else to say it, but I was kind of like kicked in the butt with my previous conceptions of what the Latino community looks like in America that I kind of, you know, there's this really popular Latino community right next to the Capitol, but I was like, oh, they're there and everyone else is here and it's kind of like this sort of separation, but these people are really involved in their community and like you can think that even though they have a different background, they want to make their community better because I was their home and they love it and it was just it was really nice and it was really refreshing and it was good to hear that there's a lot of inclusivity um, that I don't think a lot of us are aware of that Latinos really involve themselves in in ways that we didn't know so yeah and especially like with the human rights department in general Sonia does so much like if you know her she's just nonstop. <laughs> And so I think for both of us, it was just a great experience to see how unqualified we were <laughs> to serve, um, but also to see that people really have you know, meaning and they really strive to help. And I think especially for me, that kind of guided me on what I wanna do with my English major, whatever that might be. But um, yeah, it was great. And I think that kind of like made us more aware of how we want to use our ability and our platform as college students um, to speak for others. Yeah. yeah, and we both, I think we both learned a lot from Sonia too. Yeah, she, um, for me, it was the act of just going to, um, you know, emailing someone, hey, can we meet up, can we talk, um, which seemed so much more complicated to me before, um, but to just reach out and meet with people in your community, um, people are so much more um, willing to talk to you and um, work with you if you have any, you know, they're, they're very supportive in Iowa. So I think that's something that we learned really from Sonia too, was mm -hmm. just how easy it can be to reach out to um, other people in your community. Um, and we, we went not only just in Des Moines, but we went to um, Davenport yeah. and yeah. If you could go a couple slides. <laughs> forward <laughs> thank you and then the next one there you go yeah so those are the places that we um, interviewed people um, we tried to get more but there's only so much that you can do in uh, four to six weeks yeah um, yeah that was like a 16 hour no it wasn't it was like a 12 hour day one was <laughs> yeah we had a long day one day so yeah but yeah, it was, a, it was good. And also, Sonia really involved us. So like anybody who's in USLS right now, I'd completely recommend doing this internship mm -hmm. because she also involved us in other coalitions and other um, issues that she was a part of. So we were part of the Latino Services Coalition where we learned all, about all these issues in the community, whether that was with health or education or sometimes like economic issues. Um, we also had a meeting that was about the um, the children who were, I don't know, there was like this thing, but these displ the displaced children. Um, and it was just, we gained a lot of insight on several issues that I don't think we would have learned about. Um, and also that just gives you a lot more networking. And if you want to involve yourself in, a, in some sort of cause, this is a great opportunity um, to find a connection and then, you know, volunteer or find a way to intern or get involved in events, so. I think, one, think that one thing that we both will probably um, do after this internship is just get more involved in our communities. Um, basically any community that I live in, I'm gonna try to volunteer and um, just get to know the people in my own community, to be honest, yeah. Yeah. That's the gist. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.